Hi, I'm Brett Burgess, and I my roles were app development and electrical design part of the project. Um, I'm going to go over a clear description of our project and goals and objectives. They were mainly to shoot a golf ball accurately and with repeatability at randomly designated targets for a competition. The other goals for the project were that it was to be controlled remotely, launch at least 100 yards, and be able to repeat that whenever we needed to change it, and it could be calibrated easily from the remote. Hey, my name is Hussein Zulfikar, and I'm responsible for prototyping and testing. I made the proof of this uh, concept for the pneumatic system and tested its abilities. So the device can be used by elderly people and disabled people to enjoy a day at the driving range with their family and friend. Participation in sports help brings people together past their differences and ability. It can also be used by sports teams to launch t-shirts in stands to make a fun experience for their fans. Hi, I'm Mitchell Nance. I'm a system designer on the team. I'm going to talk about the, uh, the design implementation and our steps forward uh, to make this project as successful as possible. Um, our main priority was designing the launching mechanism first and getting that testing and prototyping done in order to secure our ability to fire golf balls at our desired distances. Um, and then we worked towards developing the turret system and all the controls that were involved in shooting the right shots that we wanted. Hi, my name is Carlos Lara, and I was in charge of the software developing and the electrical design. And I'm going to tell you how our project works. Um, we use a rangefinder to get the distance to the target, and we use that distance uh, to choose a launching pressure uh, based from testing and calibration. Then uh, we choose a direction to aim the launcher, and we use the app with Bluetooth communication to send the pressure, direction angle, and a fire command to the launcher. The launcher receives that data from the app, and an Arduino microcontroller processes the data with the code written to open a solenoid valve to fill a PVC tank and closes once the desired pressure is reached, which is read with a transducer. Then a second solenoid valve opens to fire the launcher and shoot the golf ball. A team member reloads the new golf ball and repeats the process for the next shot. Hi, I'm Frank St. John. I worked on system design and CAD development for this project. Uh, I'm gonna explain how our group was able to creatively collaborate and achieve successful teamwork. We originally drafted a design that would launch uh, a projectile by forcing uh, a golf ball between two rotating wheels, much like a baseball pitching machine, causing the ball to inherit its angular velocity. Once issues arose with this plan, a few team members split off uh, to prototype a pneumatic design, and eventually the team made a full transition, splitting into two groups, uh, one to work on power and controls for the system, and the other for design and hardware assembly. One of the biggest challenges our team faced during planning was that our original design for our launching mechanism failed. It, had, it was the baseball pitching type design and it caused too much vibration that the entire structural integrity started to fail. So with that being found out earlier in the process, we were able to switch over to a pneumatic system. And thankfully we had split the team into both to explore both options when we realized how much vibration was being caused with our original one. And this made a smoother transition into the pneumatic system, which was better with its structural, it was more structurally sound in the end. COVID was definitely a setback because we could not meet in person, but the way our team uh, solved this problem was by incredibly open communication and decisive action. We set deadlines and broke the system down into parts and each teammate was asked to develop that part based on their skill set and then to be put together in assembly a week prior before the competition. In terms of stakeholders, we were kind of the primary stakeholders for our project. Um, and the closest thing that we had other than us was our professor who uh, helped guide us through the process of all of our design. Um, he actually suggested our path forward when we came into trouble with the spinning disc design and was trying to pivot to the pneumatic. Um, he helped us a lot and we implemented a lot of his suggestions on our path forward. One of the biggest lessons we learned through the entire process is to test early. With our first design, uh, the analysis showed that it was plausible, but once we started testing, it showed that it failed terribly. So 
we pivoted and we rolled it out and moved to a pneumatic system that was successful. As for the motivation behind choosing this particular project, uh, we were looking for something that proved challenging yet would still be enjoyable to design and operate. Uh, projectile launching is something that requires accurate design and a good understanding of dynamics fundamentals. And you can't spell fundamentals without fun. <laughs> I like it. That's our project, and we want to give a special thanks to our professor, Dr. Stressow, and the MAE Purchasing Office for all of the help with putting in orders and giving us suggestions on things when we needed help overpassing certain obstacles with the COVID conditions. And that, and we look forward to taking everything that we've learned into our respective fields. Perfect. Yes. Oh. Flawless. Uh, and you can't spell dynamics without fun, so we thought we'd have a good time with this project. You said you can't spell dynamics. You said we can't spell dynamics without fun. I have that on video. No! Yes! <laughs>